saved up, got your tax money, or got rich off that ape NFT that you bought, you might be looking to invest into your next laptop for music production. So I'm gonna show you four of some of the best laptops that I think that are great in my opinion. Regardless of budget, if you actually have some money to spend, this video is for you. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button because it helps out. Also hit that notification bell so you'll be notified about more videos like this. Actually, one of these laptops I'm going to order myself and I can't wait till it gets here. So just stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Also, I'm going to go into detail about why I chose this laptop and why I think it's the best out of the others on the list. Links to all the products that I mentioned will be in the description in this video. So go ahead and check that out. And let me know in the comments what laptop are you currently using right now or what laptop are you thinking about getting? And if you know any better laptops that I didn't mention, let me know. First off, let's go ahead and get started with the Razer Blade 15 Gaming Laptop 2022. This is a really great laptop for music production, regardless if you're just doing music or you decide to make some music videos. It comes with Intel's brand new processor that just came out, their 12th generation, and it's really fast. It comes with a 15.6 inch screen, and you also have the option to upgrade to like a 17 inch monitor. You can get it in a 240 hertz screen or a 144 hertz. Personally, I have a razor blade and I really like this computer a lot. I really like customizing the keyboard and stuff like that to like different applications where I have like FL Studio open and when I'm making beats, I can have different types of keys and stuff like that lit and all that. And I really love that as far as like this laptop and you know, the configurations and the customizations and all that. And when I get my new laptop, I'm pretty much gonna miss that, but I think it's still worth it just to move on to this next laptop that I'm gonna get. But I, I think this is still a great laptop. This laptop that I currently have is like the 2018 version. When you decide to get the new version, it should be better than what I have. Now, some of the cons that I gotta mention is the battery life. Regardless if you're a music producer or you're just like editing videos, you gotta understand that wherever you go, you gotta have a charger with you. You know what I'm saying? You gotta carry the charger and be plugged into a wall, regardless of where you're at. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be focused on looking at a wall charger when you have this laptop, just because of the processor inside and the battery life. If you want the full performance of this laptop, you just gotta have it plugged into the wall or else you won't be able to take advantage of like the full power of this laptop. And I think that really sucks when it comes to having a laptop, you know, the whole purpose of a laptop is being mobile, but you can't really do that if you gotta carry a charging cable everywhere you go. Personally, I'm not a big fan of how loud the fans are. You can probably hear it right now. Let me know if you hear it, which is one of the biggest reasons why I'm upgrading to this next laptop. Regardless if you get the 2022 version or, or the version that I have, which is the 2018 version, you're gonna have a loud fan, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of what you get. When you start doing stuff, you start adding plugins and everything like that, you're gonna have a loud fan with this laptop. So you gotta keep that in consideration. You probably don't wanna have this next to your microphone, which I do right now, and I'm trying very hard and I'm trying to compensate to get that sound out. So it's like, fuck. So it's like, dang, bruh, like, dang, I just gotta, you know, do a lot of work when I shouldn't have to. If you're getting help so far, go ahead and like the video and also go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Now this laptop has a pretty decent design and, you know, and personally it's not like in my taste, you know, but some other people might like it. You got interchangeable different de design caps and stuff that you can add on this laptop. But hey, if you're into that, better for you. This laptop also comes with the Intel 12th generation new processor that's really fast as well. You can get away with doing a lot of stuff, regardless if you're just making music or if you wanna make music videos, you have that power to. So regardless of what you wanna do, you can do it. Personally, I think if you're smart enough to understand how to use a, a, a music maker making program, I'm pretty sure you're smart enough to understand how to edit a video, you know what I'm saying? So you might wanna, you know, edit a video later on or learn how to edit a video later on. Any of the laptops that I mentioned on this video, you can do that on. And it's really not that hard, to be honest with you. It comes with a 15.6 inch matte 240 hertz display. And there's something that I really gotta talk about. There's something I gotta let you know. The laptop does have the pretty great display and all that, but it's not that bright. For some reason, you know, there's other brighter laptops that I have on this list than this one. So if you have an issue with, you know, your laptop not being that bright, you might be disappointed in getting this laptop, but it's still fast. So just keep that in mind. Same thing with this laptop with the Razer Blade. You know, these Intel processors don't really last a long time. 
you know um it's, it's good that they're very powerful but you know when you're on a laptop you got to understand you got to have your power supply with you you're going to be looking around and keep that constant in your mind like oh where's the wall plug you know what i'm saying i got to be cooped up next to a wall plug you know versus other laptops that i mentioned on this list you don't have to worry about that so just keep that in mind when you're getting this laptop <laughs> If you're getting help so far, go ahead and like the video and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. For this next laptop is the MS Raider GE66. So this is also another great laptop for music production, 15 inch screen, 120 hertz display, Intel's new 12th generation processor that you have to plug into a wall to get high performance. Now, one thing with this laptop you do get, you do get to upgrade your storage later on. So you might get a terabyte now, and then you might start using it up and then decide, hey, I need another terabyte. You can get more storage if you want to versus the other ones on this list. This laptop does have decent battery life, but don't think you're gonna be making 20 songs or 10 beats off this laptop. You're not gonna do that on battery. You know, you might, if you just add a couple claps here and there, pop, pop, boom, back. The design looks better than the last laptop I mentioned. And personally, I would probably use this if I did not decide to get a razor blade or the next laptop that I'm gonna buy. The design is decent and it should be pretty great and last you a while for music production. So for this next laptop, I'm gonna tell you exactly which one I actually ordered. And the one that I ordered or will be ordering very soon is the MacBook Pro. The new MacBook Pro that they added with the M1 processor, I'm gonna get the M1 Max. Personally, I just feel like that right there is good enough for me for it's like music production and stuff like that. And it's super powerful. And one thing that, you know, all of these laptops don't have that the new MacBook has is a super quiet fan. Me personally, I'm one of those guys that record next to their laptops and I just need a quiet fan. You know, I just don't understand why laptops get so hot and so loud, you know, but it is what it is. This comes with a 16.2 inch Retina XDR display, which is super high quality and also comes with 120 Hertz ProMotion display. Personally, I love using this on my iPhone 13. On my razor blade, I do have a 144 Hertz display. It's 2022, your screen should be refreshing as fast as you can even think. Another thing with MacBooks that, you know, you gotta think about, they last a very long time. You know, some of them, just last forever. Some of you guys even messaged me on my on my page saying that using the 2015 version. Now today, I don't understand how. You know, my laptop I've had for like almost three years now. I honestly think my laptop got louder over time. Sometimes if I press in certain areas, it gets louder, which is why I'm going to get this MacBook Pro and I can't wait till it comes here. You can possibly get away with getting the M1 Pro version because it's so fast and you don't really need like all that power. Me personally, I only got the Max version because I actually edit videos. And regardless if you get the Pro version, you can still edit videos on that, but like I edit all the time, you know what I'm saying? So I want just to make sure I have something just to edit videos a lot faster so I can spend time with my family. And if that stuff is important to you and you do edit videos, just go with the Max so you can save time. One thing I don't like about this laptop, you know, I don't care that it has a notch. It does have a notch and that's cool. And I'll get used to it because I've got used to like my 13 Pro or whatever. One thing I, I don't like about this laptop, it doesn't have Face ID. And I, I think it's really great that Windows added this with Windows Hello and all that. So you can just look at your laptop, unlocks it. I really feel like Apple missed the mark with that one, but they're probably going to add into their next variation of that laptop. And another con that you can't do with this laptop, you can't upgrade the storage, like I mentioned with another laptop in this list. Whatever you get, that's what you're gonna have. You can't, you gotta deal with it and that's it. So be careful what you order. Again, let me know what other laptops I didn't mention in this video that you're probably looking at or laptops that you're currently using right now. I'm 30 Kilo Beats. You guys stay safe. And remember, it's only a matter of time. Peace.